the most f famous person out of Fullerton basketball is who? Leon Wood. Leon. Who is Brother Leon, brother as you Leon. call him? Brother Leon back from the 70s. Oh, my. I'm the, over here going Cedric no, Sabalos. No, no, CIF no. all-time leading scorer at St. Monica Point High. guard in the 1984 Olympic yep. game that included Michael Jordan and Bobby Knight said the best player on that team was? Leon Wood. And yeah. what year are we? 2018. Oh. Congratulations, the Cal State Fullerton. He us into they the go Leon. to the tournament for the third time in their career, uh, their existence. 1978, 2008, yep. 2018. And we're using, we bring up Fullerton because it's NCAA tournament time. Selection Sunday was yesterday. That was a mess. <laughs> LeBron was in town. That was a mess. Yes. Bethel Duran, Tom Holfarth, Steve Lowry. This is another edition of The Drill. And we sent this out to a lot of people last week, and we said, hey, what do like you think that? about this? Great feedback, great reviews, and by great means, people told us what they didn't like. And <laughs> they liked a lot of things. Right, shirts so, on. So here it is. First thing. So <laughs> one of the suggestions was, tell us who these guys are. So don't talk, fellas. All right. Tom Holfarth, longtime writer for the LA Daily News, Southern California News Group. He is a media critic. He's freelancing. He's available for hire. Steve Lowry, longtime writer, LA Times, the pride of Downey. That's right. Oh, sorry, Tom. Pride yes. of Hawthorne. That's yes. right. Lowry from Downey, uh, LA Times, OC Weekly. We yep. work with the uh, Ask a Mexican, Gustavo Arellano, My boy. who loves you a lot. We uh, love Gustavo. And has you've written books. Yes. You're writing another book. Yes. And you're available for hire. And the National. <laughs> and the National. Okay. Yes. The yep. modern, the old version of The Athletic. Once, That's right. Once again, yeah. keep it relevant here. Right. I'm Bethel Duran. <laughs> uh, Carson, which is where we're at, uh, at the Pro Angle Studios. Broadcaster, reporter, blah, blah, blah. I am bilingual and available for hiring in two languages. <laughs> I so especially like his oh. blah work. It's, yeah. it's blah, terrific. Blah, blah, mucha blah. blah. So beautiful. John from Ohio, Eric from <laughs> Irvine. They're in the mix. You're going to hear their voices. You'll you see might them actually hear Eric this and time. And you'll see a lot yeah. of them. So the drill, what is it? Let me explain to you. We don't know. <laughs> we really don't know. What does it But matter? we're getting an idea of what we want to do. Every week is going to be different as we are ironing out the kinks and we're trying to figure out what's going on, what we like, what we don't like. It so can't get kinky. You're right. Yeah. The kink, that's a band, right? I was waiting yeah. for you guys to jump in with your old people <gasps> no. reference. No, because then you just slam us. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, that, then, as long as there's no clash involved. No. <laughs> All right. Clash. The clash is a band, too. Clash. Exactly. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So w if you have any suggestions. What's wrong with the clash? You know no. that I liked it. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on your side here because these guys are all, cause they're sports fighters. John, right? do the kids listen to the clash? The kids like some, the clash. Some still yeah, do, yeah. 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 All, right. Good. All right, good. So good. as you can tell, if you're watching this on YouTube, you guys are going to say, wow, this show, show is very long. If you're listening on a podcast, which thanks everybody who listened on the Living the Dream edition version, uh, you're going to say this show is very short. We'll so we're going to try to find a yep. way where we can get in the mix. We'll talk slower. No, 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 oh, because okay. <laughs> don't talk slower. <laughs> That's already, they, say, they want you to speak up, Tom. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. They yes. want you to be louder. They want you to ha bring that personality you have off camera, like your the biggest Laker story. Girl. Exactly. <laughs> So it's my smoky appearance. So here's how it's gonna work. We talk about what's relevant in LA. It's LA centric. Then we have a couple segments. It's called the drill, where Steve gets to rant. Now a new segment for this week will be called, was it the business? The business. <laughs> it's where Tom Hofarth is a media critic. And now for those of you guys who are older, and have you ever seen Everybody Loves Raymond? This is Raymond. This is Ramon right here from Redondo Beach. Hey, what's the matter? Exactly. Because everybody's like, wait a minute, you go to sports, but you're at home. We don't quite figure that out. Yeah, I'm Raymond. Right? So he, write, he gets to write from home and observes the media. So it's going to be the business. And people in L.A. kind of know what's going on. They're uh -huh. observing about it. That's right. And Tom used to write a top ten list. And it's I was a business featured town. Yep. I was featured back in 2014, if you want to Google Beth around Tom Hofarth. Yep. It was in English only, so not many of you saw it. Read it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Reddit. Reddit. All right. Reddit's, so Reddit's a new thing, right? Reddit's a new thing. Reddit's so there you thing. go. Right. And without further ado, like the news. Let's do it. Then that's where we'd have a fancy sounder, uh, right. graphics, and all that other stuff. Now that's going to come eventually. <laughs> Look, we're working on it. Okay? All right. All right. Hey, 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 we weren't talking about you, bro. <laughs> no, it's Don't not get your defensive, fault. amigo. It's Eric's fault, but we won't put blame yes. on anyone. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, exactly. Eric, you're all right? I'm good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's Eric. Eric's hey. microphone works. Hey. And if you can watch on YouTube, you can see we have a palm tree. Yes. We are all fancy. So Between the Please, palms. people from the Dan Lebertard show, don't sue us. We no. really we didn't mean to do That's that. That's an authentic so, yeah. L.A. palm tree. Oh, yeah. Exactly. That's Made in Miami. China, yeah. imported through uh, FedEx. Yes. We got it here today. Delivered at the docks yeah. in Long Beach. Yeah. All along shore, I appreciate yeah. you guys. Here's the news. LeBron was in town. Lost to the Clippers. Lost to the Lakers. Yeah. And Magic and his agents and everybody else was at Staples Center and they had a fan seek kumbaya, but LeBron wasn't involved. But all of a sudden, Twitter and everything else, oh, LeBron's coming to the Lakers. Okay, number one, did you watch the game yesterday? No. No. 
Magic looks fabulous. <laughs> Magic was in a black <laughs> suit. Black shirt. Did you see it, John? Oh, you know what? I watched the game. With yeah. the red. Did you see Magic? I wasn't focusing hey, on Magic. I saw Magic. Fantastic. Magic was in Vegas the whole time for the Pac-12 tournament. Really? Front row seat. Was Scout. he looking fantastic? Uh, yeah. He looked fantastic. He was bad. He, he was also bad. looked very happy. It was like yep. he he's becoming the puppet master. This whole thing yeah. was working out well. And I want to uh, shout out, big shout out to L.A. Laker fans. You guys were in a very tough position yesterday. Number one, they show up. They got to cheer for their team. Sure, you got to support your team. Number two, they got to support their team so that their team performs well enough that they make it um, feasible that LeBron would want to come to this team, right? Right. 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 But they don't want to piss off LeBron. So they can't boo LeBron. They can't take Wait, pleasure. Does when LeBron ever get booed? Uh, he does. And they can't oh, seem to take where? pleasure when his team's doing bad. They, You know what they were? Yesterday, guys, you were when – a dad has to go to a little league game, and the next door neighbor's kid is the pitcher, <laughs> and he strikes out your kid, and you got to go, Yay, Peter, way to go. No, you don't. You yell at your kid for striking out against the oh, neighbor. This no. is why there's restraining orders. Yeah. But, anyways, <laughs> yeah. but anyways. Why is your kid striking out? I, <laughs> <laughs> right. That's a whole other Swing thing. the bat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were talking about baseball. Anyways, um, the, the, you guys did fantastic because – it was such a – the game itself was pretty boring. Yeah. The, the Lakers were Lakers in control. Lakers won, the, and they yeah. dominated. In control yeah. the whole time. I saw the highlights. LeBron just kind of walked off. There was no incidents, nothing weird. It was just a job for him that day. It was – yeah. It, after this, you could tell Magic was like, no, this is – we're still rolling it. Yeah. We're still going We well. like how it's looking. Yeah, yeah. It's looking very good, yeah. I think. And you know who else is looking good? Magic. Ooh. Okay, he had a red pocket square. It was all black. <laughs> okay, we get it. Versace. <laughs> LeBron's in town, Tom. You. I wasn't compelled to watch. I was watching Why? the Pac-12 tournament in Vegas. So Why? I, I just, you do know we do a sports show, right? You know what? I love the kids' game. They are enthusiastic. They don't throw in the towel. Oh, God. It's not a job. Wait a minute. I really? Love the, I love the <laughs> Tom, college game. Love we're the starting game. the show with LeBron in L.A., and I'm you're sorry. just going to go. I'm tired of listening to it already. All I right. already know oh, LeBron. Oh, no, okay. We're tired of listening, but at least he's I already here. Know. He you was here three him. weeks ago for the All-Star game, and the same crap nah. rolled through. It, th that was LeBron's tryout, right, in the All-Star game. They all loved the All-Star <laughs> game the way it turned out. Now uh, he's come back. Now, uh, he's he's here twice e this year. And they, all right, so, so, Steve, it was awesome having LeBron <laughs> here in town, right? We get to see him. And yeah. like, By the way, Rob Palenka, also looking nice. Way to go, Rob. No. Anyways, yeah. Did you get a job or what? Oh, <laughs> how about all the big stars that came out to the game? Yeah, this was a, this was interesting. If they, At a Laker game, there were stars. Oh, the, my no, God. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. This is funny. They, Listen to the shocker. stars. I got to say to Laker brass, if you are trying to impress LeBron by saying, look, you can play amongst the stars, the way that That's we said. That's not working. The way that we said last week, uh, other players might be impressed by how Kobe impresses the stars. <laughs> they listed the stars. Jack Nicholson, of course. Yeah. And then it was like Adam Jason Lambert. Sudeikis, yeah. Adam Levine. Uh, okay. And or Levine. Or Levine. Levine. Well, one of those guys. And about two or three other guys who I think <laughs> are those YouTube kids who comment on game show, <laughs> on, on uh, video games. So it was just, it was not exactly the A-list. No. So I don't think he was that impressed. Plus with Jack, it. Jack was looking a little puffy. You know what was bizarre? If you didn't see the game, they actually showed uh, Nicholson walking onto the floor. Showing his And ticket. some dude asked for his okay, ticket. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> who asked for that, Jack that Nicholson's That ticket? I saw on Twitter. Is and, yeah. and it was a red coat at Staples Center. Yeah. Shout out to everybody at Staples Center. We're doing shout outs here. You'd like, look fabulous. Yeah, you, yeah. you look fabulous <laughs> in the red coat. Red coats are nice. Jack's walking in, a young kid, red coat. He's asking everybody for their ticket because they're coming in for the tunnel Yeah. at halftime. Yeah. Well, you know what? Coming we, into the studio today, Eric asked us who well, we were. Look, look, look. I get it. <laughs> but should a kid in his he, 20s did know? Did he ask you? I couldn't hear him. Eric, I, yeah, couldn't, hear him. I couldn't hear him. But he was there. Was, I had to show my ID to uh, get in What was the last time Jack made a movie? It's been a while. All right, if you're in your 20s, should you know Jack Nicholson? Yes. Let's, let's go to the really? boys. Yes. 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 What, you what should it, know Jack Nicholson. What is okay, Nich okay, but should you know what Jack Nicholson looking like right now? Do you think that's Jack Nicholson? I didn't <gasps> think that was him. Good call. Well, let me ask you this. I don't think that for, was For kids your age. It was worth double checking. The, the Pacino movie. These that you kids guys, are all in their 30s. It's Scarface, right? What is the Nicholson Scarface? What's the movie all, all younger people know by Nicholson? Shining? The Shining no way. For sure. No, uh, kids like, don't know The Shining. Oh, uh, Eric, it's a classic. The Joker, obviously. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But that's not him. But that's him dressed up. That's right. Oh, and that's he doesn't look anything no. like that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Eric, do you know The Shining? I do know The Shining. Oh wow, you must have been home a lot, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I've never seen The Shining. Nicholson I've heard was it. not in Home Alone, so right? You 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 don't remember? I uh, don't remember okay. that one. Right. <laughs> right? So if you're 20, 21, and you're a red coat, that's a good point. 
That's a good. I, I get it. Where you yeah, have to yeah, know yeah. who people are. Right, right. But Jack walking in, not looking Jack-ish. He's, he's yeah. close to eighty now, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he also didn't have his sunglasses on. That that's his own fault. Why'd you take the sunglasses off? And impressive, he just showed that he hit him a, yeah, he like make a big deal it, about yeah. it. He, well, he was he, actually cool the about camera it. caught him because it goes moment. to no. It's the back to the line. Those that are super famous yeah. are super cool. Yeah. And those who think they are, right. boom. Boom. It's yeah. the guys who you just mentioned that nobody knows who they were. We're like, don't you know who I am? Right, exactly. That, that was the guy. No, we don't. So, Steve, huh. you love LeBron being here in L.A. Well, we're going to talk about weekend. this later in the drill. I do love him being here. We ha- we did have some rain. That uh, I, oh, wish we, I wish we could have oh, presented wow. better weather. Tough, yeah. L.A., you didn't look fabulous <sighs> this weekend. He's got a house in Brent when he knows how the drill is. Okay. He knows, he knows hey, what that's all the about. drill, that's trademarked. Right, sorry. Watch oh it, LeBron. Right. Yeah. But I, I think overall, <laughs> I think overall, fellas, it was as good as you could expect. Uh, I Wasn't, think that was the name of the movie he made, As Good As It Gets. <laughs> there it is, yeah. <laughs> you can't handle the as truth. As good as it gets. So kids in their 20s almost You can't handle the truth as a few good men. Oh, what is it? A, f- a few good men yeah, is yeah. where you can't handle <laughs> well, the Whatever. Truth. Which you men are these? As what good as it gets. That how was good also are Nicholson. these? Wait, yeah. what's as good as it gets? That was Nicholson and Helen Hunt. Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. What's that? Um, oh, I forget. Oh. I, it's I, not I even worth it. You know, it's edit that impressionable, out. Huh? Edit that out. Right. Let's move we on. take a lot of crap for being old and clueless, but this guy asks more questions than we do. <laughs> because <laughs> the hell? I know good. Obviously, you guys can't sell me on this, so it's not good. Oh, Pac-12 tournaments. You're still Woo! crying over Coco, right? Oh, Coco was good. Don't even start me, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no, 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 no. no. Did you watch it? Coco I haven't seen good. it. It looks fabulous. It was good. Why yeah. haven't you seen it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to get me in trouble? I haven't seen it. The last movie good. I saw was Lady Bird, remember and that was like me, two months ago. After. Remember me. What is that? Oh, that's Coco. 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 Yeah, it's going to get a copyright. Let's edit that out. Right. Coco, yeah, yeah. Don't, out. Coco's fantastic. All right. mm. You don't have to be Mexican to see it. Next. Eric, can you move this along? <laughs> you went to Vegas. Tom, when I think Vegas, I think Tom Hofarth. Absolutely. Uh, old white man in his 50s. I think I got the shirt there. Wearing Tommy Bahama yeah, yeah. in Vegas. I'm oh, yeah. thinking yep, you, yep, right? Yeah. What were you doing there? Pac-12 tournament. On purpose. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I went there to talk to Ed O'Bannon, who just has a new book out, talks about his 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 battle against the NCAA, and, his, and went all the way to the Supreme Court, actually. I didn't Ed O'Bannon, who played at UCLA, won a championship. 20-something years ago. And the fans, Artesia! The fans in that UCLA section were great. They were just hammering him, like, we haven't had a great team since you and Charles. And Charles was there, too, so it was fun to sit with them and watch the game and just take it all in. They live. They both live in the area, so they love living there. And it was just kind of a cool experience to see college kids really pumped up for games. And it, that's what Ed, his, yeah. his, his bottom line was, Yes, I sued the NCAA for our likeness infringement and all this stuff, but I really enjoy coming to these games. The kids really are, they have a mission, they, you know, th- the distractions that are out there with the FBI and stuff, mm-hmm. that didn't matter to them. They just, they're just, they're, they're so solid kids. Ed, they play. I, saw, I read the Q&A you did with him yep. in Daily News. He had a, his uh, lawsuit against the NCAA for using his likeness right. on an EA sports game. Right. right. And then he wasn't like he was trying to become this trailblazer. No, or he, d- he kind of got talked into doing this by Sonny Vaccaro. He took up the cause. He went through the process. He did the court case. He did the appeals. He did all through it, and it was just, you know, nine years pass you by, and you think, God, I, I should be bitter about the NCAA and everything. Mm-hmm. He goes, No, I'm, I'm fine. I got what we got, what we wanted. We got recognition, and now all this other stuff is kind of is piggybacking on his victory. Where should kids be played? Should kids protest? Should they, should they uh, boycott the NCAA yeah. Final Four? So that's it's led to a great discussion, I think. I've never understood what was the NCAA's argument. Obviously, if Beto's on there, he should get paid. They're they're making money. They're off using his likeness in yes. a video game. Everyone right. knows right. that's Ed O'Banion. But then it goes to shirt sales. It goes to right. all these other things where the NCAA is making money off the off the players' back. But I guess technically they could argue that oh, when we're selling number thirty-two UCLA. It's just a coincidence right. Bill Walton had that number. But in this, it's the actual looking person. The actual person in yeah. the video game, It's it, there's no mistaking. Right. And EA wanted to pay these guys, and the NCAA squashed. Oh, EA because, said, we'll yeah, pay you. Yeah, EA yeah. wanted to pay Because they live in the real yeah. world. Yeah, they understand yeah. okay. how these things work. Yeah. The NCAA squashed them. And what was their argument? Um, it was. It we w- don't want to. It was It was just too many. It would. It. It. It was amateurism was being put on the spotlight again. <laughs> and they think that, that they're protector of amateurism when they're making billions the of NCAA dollars. The NCAA just got a right. billion dollars right. uh, this year to, yeah, yeah the tournament. Jeez. Okay, good, yeah. The tournament came out. So read all the, the book. Brackets it's really a great there. book. What, what's it called? Uh, it's called uh, Court Justice. Who wrote it? Ed with Obana did. Ed wrote the book? He wrote it with uh, Mike McCann, who is a business law man from Sports Illustrated. It's very good. good. Very Way good. to go. Yeah. Check that out. Go check out Tom's yeah. uh, column uh, or Q&A he did with Ed O'Bannon. 
from Artesia. He actually went to Verbum Day. Yes. I learned that in your story. Yes, first year. Right off the 105, so that's real. Yeah. South L.A. Oh, yeah. Ed O'Banna. Verbum Day talk. used to play its games in my high school gym. Pius stamped what? Yep. Really? Well, you just yep. said a what? <laughs> <laughs> no, they used to play games in Compton College. That oh. was Sarah Verme Day. College, what? Yep. No. Sarah Verme Day games at Compton College were a festival. Oh, those no, they show the up. Day. David Greenwood and, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, boy. Oh, those were great games. Those were great teams. NCAA tournament is out. The brackets are available. Oh. Everybody's going to fill one out. Usually the secretary or some lady in the office who has no idea what's going on <laughs> wins. Right. And she's like, oh, <laughs> how did we win? And it's like, okay, because, of course, she's going to oh. pick yeah. Winscup or whatever. I Wilson picked goes. the Dukes. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. Duke. The Dukes. That's the name of my dog. He's going to win. <laughs> yes. I, I, I love Bearcats. Check the Wildcats. Exactly. You can't yeah. go wrong with Wildcats. Do, do you guys have any uh, completely wild ways of filling out a bracket or anything, or do you actually like try? I used to look for alliteration. That was just a big a, word there. Well, what does that mean? Uh, you know, that the words Calm that kind of sound USC. together, like Winthrop wins. You know, you know it, it was just a, my way of kind of pulling it all together. It, the, it was an alliterative way of getting it. This is an especially bad year because I think everyone agrees there is no great team, number one. The year has been just losses and losses. and lo Kansas yeah. began with, like, what, six, seven losses? Yeah. Arizona is bland. Duke is bland. The best team is Virginia, which is usually bland. Yeah, they weren't even picked to win their conference. Yeah, I think started. this is the year where, like, uh, I hate to say it, I think, like, Kentucky. With oh. a bunch of young kids, is going to get hot. I think an, I it's going to be a team like that. There's only been one eight seed that won. I think an eight through a twelve is going to win this tournament. Yeah, no way. Yeah. an eight through a twelve. Yeah, I used to like get into it. Then no, uh, then I'm just like, here, kid, fill out my bracket. Right. All, the reason I even do it is just so I have something to do on Thursday morning. Yeah. And what I do is I open up my account at a, a certain offsite site. And I make sure to make all kinds of bets throughout the day because there's mm. nothing, nothing to do in the morning. But right. I, unless we could do another edition of the drill. Well, I no. did it. Because once again, I am available for hire. I did a bracket before the tournament was announced. I had USC going to the Sweet 16. <laughs> and, then <laughs> some, and then something happened. And then they didn't get in. Local teams getting in. UCLA is going to get to the play-in game, the first four. They will take on St. Bonaventure. St. Bonaventure, the Bonnies, the home yeah. of Adrian Wojnarowski. Oh. oh. Oh, so they're in. Arizona State gets in, yep. even oh. though they were lower than SC in the Pac-12. They were 8-10 yeah. and ten in the Pac-12 conference. How'd they get in? They lost their first-round game to Colorado because they beat Kansas early in the season. Because they did well in December. But Kansas was horrible in the beginning of the season. They were average. They, they were beat average. USC twice as well. Yeah. yeah. No, once. I thought it was they twice. only played once. They only played Arizona. And State they only beat them by two at home. Yeah, they only beat them by yeah mm. by two at home. Oh, I'm th I'm sorry. I was thinking USC. Mm. So, no. Oh, no. UCLA, UCLA yeah. beat Arizona in Arizona. In Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. So UCLA has a playing game. Yeah. SC goes to NIT. Yeah. Oh. Arizona wins the Pac-12. Fullerton is in the tournament, as we said. Fullerton wins the Big West, which lost to USC by 42 points in the season <laughs> opener. Fullerton plays Friday <laughs> afternoon against <laughs> Purdue. Go Titans! Yeah. <laughs> and uh, everybody at off campus. If you guys know what off campus is, oh, you guys know what that is? I don't. Off campus was the bar that used to be off the oh, 57. Yeah. It burned down a few years ago. <laughs> but everybody knew Thursday there was a ban and cheap beer. So I oh. tweeted, uh, congratulations to Fullerton. They're running off the, on the court. Uh, everybody's there. I was like, just wish off campus could be here to see it. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, everybody's like, what do you know about right. that? I'm like, hey, I didn't go to school. I, I, I didn't go to any of these schools, but I know all the bars. Yeah. And right. I know. Uh, at UCLA, Santa Barbara, up down the street. You find oh. a Fullerton bar now and have a boiler maker. Oh, oh, very good. Look at you. And now, <laughs> oh, it is time for I the fan favorite. Drinks. It's what everybody wants. Hey, we get Eric from Irvine involved. All right, Eric, wake up. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the enthusiasm, Eric. Eric, explain how this game goes. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The drill. <laughs> All right, yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. We're going to give him, what, 30, 45 seconds to 45. do his thing? Give me 45. You. All right. You're the gatekeeper. All yeah. right. Thanks, Eric. Way to really sell this job. <laughs> yeah, really. That's the drill. Right it's where Steve show. Lowry, as you can tell, has no energy. Nice. He's going to all of a sudden ramp it up to 85, and we're going to give him 45 That's seconds to go defense. on his rant. Yeah. Questions. He throws me a bunch of them, and I'm just going to pick them out, out of nowhere. Ready? 45 seconds for this one. And boom. Staying on the Pac-12 topic. They suck. What happened to him? But the Pac-12, uh, football-wise, was horrible this year. I think their bowl record was 1-8. One, one, eight. Eight. one and eight. And now they just got three, four teams into the three. tournament. Three teams three in. Three and two have to play in a playoff yeah. game. Yeah, and they're horrible. They're going to do horrible. You're looking right now at a Pac-12 that seems on the verge of going from major conference to mid-major. Yep. 
Um, now, I find this weird because actually in the non-revenue sports... Cut him off, Eric. He's rambling, man. Forget it. The Pac-12 <laughs> still what? kills. 30 seconds. Dude, the Pac-12 still 30 kills. seconds on nothing. Do you, do you blame Larry Scott? Who you blame? I don't blame Larry Scott. What I blame is parents who don't want their kids playing football anymore in California. What are you where it's rambling about? Yes. And uh, yeah, the Pac-12. Three. Oh, yeah, Lord. Two. This was not fair. Oh, no. I protest <laughs> that drill. You wrote the question. <laughs> You should have had the answer ready to go. I already, I was setting it up. There is no setup. It's straight to the point. Millennials don't have time for your setup. Put that 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 answer on the podcast. Okay, good. All right. right. When they have an hour. (laughs) My goodness. It's a good point. Editor right now will tell you, hey, Steve, 800 words. Yeah. That's right. 800 That's words. Right. Oh, that was the gold days. Yeah. Now it's Tom, you want, to, you want to reply whatever that mishmash was? No, I yeah. agree. I think Larry Scott's you agree. to blame. You I, Larry Scott's to blame. Okay. Now, why do you think Larry Scott's to blame? I don't have time. Well, next question. Oh, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. 30 seconds after yes. that performance. We're going to no! cut you short. 30 right. seconds. Eric. Here we go. Listo? Soccer. All of a sudden, we're a big oh, soccer, guys. Soccer, yeah. the Galaxy lose in New York. LAFC 2-0. and oh, They win somewhere. Diego Rossi. Boom. So there's this 19-year-old kid, Uruguayan, plays for LAFC. They've scored six goals, two games, uh, outscored a playoff team, and a pretty good team, 6-1. to one. And this kid, Diego Rossi, has scored three goals. Check out, uh, check out some of the highlights on uh, YouTube or wherever you can find it. YouTube they play a very, soccer, yes. they play a very attractive kind of soccer where they hold possession, and seconds. all of a sudden they break a guy behind. And normally it's this kid, and he does what Americans can't do in soccer. He finishes. He makes goals. Three, this kid's gonna be huge. Two, one. Look at you. That was good. That's way to come back. That's a strong. That's a strong. That's strong. That's strong. Strong second. Woo wee. I, I enjoy Martini and Rossi. <laughs> Martini uh, and Rossi what's on the that? rocks. Yeah. What's that? Ah, let's go next. <laughs> <laughs> Martini and Rossi. Oh, huh? God. John, Get translate. Out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, one more. Yes. For the drill. All right. Are you feeling good? Your first oh, one I sucked. Feel so good. Second one was really good. But this one, really, yeah. All right, you I, okay? I some good mojo. It's so hot go. in here, bro. It is good. We need a palm tree to. How long we want Ooh. for this one? Um, right. You know, he didn't earn it the first one. Let's go 30. Oh, He yeah. didn't earn a 45. Ooh. He's better on under pressure. Okay, yeah. Here we, go. here we go. All right. We already talked about LeBron being yes. in L.A., all right, but good. the man who had the weekend, career high, triple double, all that other good stuff. Julius Randle was balling. LeBron was looking at him. Remember, beginning of the season, Julius Randle was in the doghouse, wasn't no really sense. going through it. All of a sudden, here, Julius Randle, how appealing is he to LeBron? Okay, here's the deal. Uh, everyone's been talking about, gee, they're going to have to let Julius Randle go to get the two max uh, deals. And now that he's been playing so well, some people are like, oh, how can you let him go? I'm telling you, LeBron might not let him go. Remember, when you get LeBron, you get all of LeBron, not just the great player, but the complete control freak who's going to want to control the absolute every aspect of this team. When does LeBron seconds. win championships? When he's got Udonis Haslam, when he's got a good Tristan Thompson. He likes big, strong dudes who knock other people around and protect him. Three. Two, one. <laughs> Immaculate hey, timing. Oh. I get yeah. my rebuttal time to Pius John. 10, John, woo. you have a response? Pius Pius woo. John, you have you're response. from Cleveland. Go ahead, talk. All yeah. right, all right. From the Northeast Ohio perspective, uh, as a Cavs fan, yes. I um I don't think he's coming to Los Angeles. Mm. I don't and either. if he was coming either. to Los Angeles, yeah. I think it's the Clippers. No. And I think yeah. the one reason yeah. is Jerry West. Mm. Um, yeah. If he were to come to L.A., it's the Clippers. That's I, a good call. When he went back to Cleveland, he had – Two all-stars already on that team and Tristan Thompson and Kyrie Irving. Yes. Right now you are looking at a Laker team with zero all-stars and maybe one guy who might someday in the future develop into an all-star mm-hmm. if yep. he can yep. learn to shoot. Yeah. yeah. What's the area code for Cleveland? Area code 216. That's the 216. I want to throw a question to Beto. Please explain to me When did you why? become the host? I know. <laughs> Please explain <laughs> to me <laughs> because you must have the inside on this. Jerry, Jerry West is not all uh, only one of the two greatest Lakers of all time. He is he is acknowledged as perhaps the greatest NBA executive. When the Lakers had a chance to bring him back, which he said he wanted to come, everyone assumed, oh, sure, they'll welcome with open arms. No open arms. What is going on there? As a man who likes to host and be part of Spectrum Sports Net, Tom Hofar, how you doing? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, you guys know. I don't know. What is it, a bus family thing? I don't personally know, okay. yeah. but there's a reason. There's obviously there's something o- there. There's obviously a reason. I mean, there's a reason when Magic came in, a lot of turnover in that office. Right. Like, I mean, nobody knows the inner well, workings of that uh, was going on. But Jeannie's not dating Phil anymore. White's not a problem. I, I, don't, I don't know these <laughs> worlds. I worry about what goes on in the court. Uh, 90, right. 94 okay. feet, baby. That's what I'm yeah. worried about. All the cheese men? We'll talk about All right. the show. All right. All right. Unless uh, 
you know, court justice. Else to support. Okay. Court there justice. We go. Here we go. Uh, well, that was it. That was a drill. Boom. Thank you. Sound effects, awesome, fantastic, <laughs> wonderful, great. <laughs> <laughs> I think John won <laughs> the drill. <laughs> yeah. John was the drill winner. Yeah, yeah. the drill brought to oh, you well, by whoever you wants to sponsor the drill. Yeah. Thank Ooh. you, guys. Black, Black and Decker, Decker, I'm looking at you. Black and Decker. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What does that mean? B- They're going to sponsor Black the drill. Black and Decker tools. See, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the old guy. Do you use the tools? The kids love Black no. and Decker. Oh my Did God. you hire somebody? <laughs> hire somebody. Come get it for you. All right, All right okay. we have the new segment here. Which you're going to like. It's a little bit inside baseball, which means it's behind the scenes, a little too close. But if you think about it, we all watch TV. We all have opinions about announcers. We all have opinions about broadcasters and reporters and who you like, who you don't like. A man, as we said, he's Raymond. He gets paid to criticize people. Like we all said, we all want to be food critics, right? (laughs) Boom. That'd be great. We all said we want to be judges or something, right? Boom. Well, Tom Holfarth really gets to do that. He really gets to go have lunch with people. And then he gets to write bad things about him, or good things about him, or talk about him, and whatever. Bait and switch. Right. Bait right. and switch. So Tom's like, hey, let me hang out with you. All of a sudden, hey, you're a jerk, and you get blocked <laughs> on Twitter. Tom Holfarth <laughs> is excellent on Twitter because he gets into arguments with other writers, you and I see Tom get blocked. On Twitter. He gets because Tom comes in with like a little jab. All of a sudden, there's a hook. Yeah. And he's so nice, you don't know that you're getting right. picked on by him. I try to keep up with him on so Twitter. So here we go. Possible. Oh, do you have a Twitter now, Steve? I, I actually he does. do. No, you don't. I, I he swear, does. I he tweeted does. several times this week. What is it? But I, I have Twitter envy from you because you just. You just keep pounding. All right, we'll leave it at that. Let's go. And ready, (laughs) sound effects, and boom. (laughs) Boom. This is the business. That sounds like the Buddhist. Brought to you by (laughs) blank. Fill in. Fill in a business. Business brought to you by some mortgage fund. Business. Like some rich people. Indeed. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Indeed, your job search engine. Okay. Indeed, there it is. Because these are regarding jobs. Yes. There's a change at Monday Night Football, which is Monday Night Football still a big thing? ESPN doesn't treat it that way, but I think they should. And I, usually they hire the analyst before they hire the play-by-play guy. Now they've announced that Sean McDonough is off the, the big team now that uh, John Gruden has left to go back into coaching. They haven't announced an analyst yet, but but they seem to have lay a, uh, decided that Joe Tessitore is the guy they want to do play-by-play, which doesn't make sense because he's not going to attract a big-name analyst. Uh, they've been going after uh, Peyton Manning was the guy that they wanted to do. They've got a couple of guys in house. They could do Steve Young. They could do ha- all kinds of guys yeah. who they could bring in for this. Monday Night Football has always been an entertainment show. Mm-hmm. Going back to Dennis Miller, they tried Tony Kornheiser mm-hmm. for a while. You know, it's it is what it is. But they've sort of, if they're going to test a tour, I think they're kind of throwing in the towel on what it's about. The weird thing about it, Tommy, is like you say, Monday Night Football was one of the first things to say, look, sports is a television show. Cosell yeah. was not yeah. an analyst. He w- he was his personality. Dennis Miller, he was a Tony rod. Kornheiser. And the thing about Tessitore, he's fine, but no, he's fine. There, there always seems to be two kinds of announcer. The kind of announcer who seems to actually have a life outside of it, Tarico, uh, Sean McDonough kind of yeah. seemed that way, Keith Jackson was that way, like something out. And Tessitore is the kind of guy, it seems to me, Beto, after a game, you'd go out to have a beer or, or some dinner with him, and he'd want to talk more about the game. He'd be like, dude, Let's no, that's, well, that's our job. I don't want to do anymore. Let's talk wine. It's t- so yeah. it seems like he's going to attract some... Be- like meat and potato analysts. Well, Tessitore does a great job on college football, which yeah. is what Fine he's known for. Yeah. He's, Fine. he's never done an NFL Solid game. Guy, right? Never? No, I heard this. Well, Dick Vitale yesterday watching college basketball yeah. said, congratulations, Joe Tessitore. Worked on a lot. Never done a game before. NFL game. Now, mind you, football is football. Yeah. But you have the preparation. You have mm-hmm. everybody behind it. But who's really watching Monday Night Football for the analysts yeah. anymore? Or the, or the broadcasters yeah. anymore? No, it's, it's true. It's, uh, well, that to me is why ESPN, if they really want to be progressive, instead of Tessitore, let's go back to Beth Moen, who... You did a Monday night game, first of the year. Let's let, let's set some precedent. Let's let's be a little more uh, active in our uh, diverse hirings. And to me, Beth is great, and she can handle it. Now, if you match her up with a great analyst, not Rex Reed, uh, Rex uh, Ryan, who was Rex Reed. My God, <laughs> Rex Ryan, who did it the first time. There's a reference you guys will just never know. Just skewed Paleozoic. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, if they find a good matchup. Yeah. So Tom's going to go for the female. Well, it sounds like Tessa Torres is going to get it. Yeah. Tessa Torres this weekend actually was supposed to call boxing at the StubHub Center. His voice was gone from doing basketball. Bernardo Suna jumped in. If you have a chance, watch this fight. Oscar Valdez, Scott Quigg went yeah. at it. Valdez, friend of mine, broke his jaw in the fifth round, continued to fight. How do you do that? I don't understand. How do you keep <laughs> fighting if you have a broken jaw? <laughs> you uh, yeah. had enough bar you're, fights. You're Mexican you know? and you got some, right? And Scott Quigg Eric, Eric got his nose broken. Eric three times in his life. The Look other guy had his nose broken. Yeah, he had his nose broken. So... <laughs> 
God. Yeah, hell of a fight. You go and check yeah. that out. Oh. Uh, I'll show you some pictures yeah. of this Eric's guy. Eric's jaw is still broken. It's wired shut. <laughs> that's why he doesn't speak. Well, that's, that's actually right. what Valdez <laughs> is doing. He's having yeah. surgery. They're going to wire his jaw yeah. shut for six months. Oh six yeah. weeks. Pittsburgh's uh, a dangerous place, I'll tell you. Yeah. Wait, you really got your jaw broken? <laughs> no, but I have gotten a fight in Pittsburgh. Oh, oh, really? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Back to the business. <laughs> this is the business. <laughs> How'd you get in a fight in Pittsburgh, Eric? Uh, s- some Eagle fans. It's always Eagle fans, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. Well, 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 yeah. Do tell, sir. Do tell. Story time with Eric. All right. Forget the business. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> yeah, I just had a buddy getting an argument outside of a bar, and all of a sudden we're sliding around the snow. Oh. Wow. Wait, were Wait. you an Eagles fan, or what's going on? Uh, no, I was just uh, a friend helping a friend who was getting kicked in the face. You didn't have a jersey on or anything? That were you at a football game? Uh, we were doing Cowboys-Steelers uh, the next day. You were working? No. Just there as a fan. Okay. At a uh, Heinz. Okay, Gord, but how Southside did this start? Bar. How did it start? Uh, my buddy's a Cowboys fan. Ah, and all an right. Eagles fan okay. By. Talk too yeah, much. Tell wow. him. Yeah, tell him. Tell him the whole story. Come on. It wasn't just like, oh, let me walk by and I get punched, right? Yeah, no, Eric, no. Eric's story totally reminded me of the first time I met Angela Lansbury. It's exactly <laughs> the same way it went down. <laughs> Lansbury, I'm looking at Lansbury you. Lansbury went yeah. down. Yes. And everybody's looking back at you saying, who? Who? I know, I know. So Eric, did you win? Um, Wrap it up. Oh, no. Wrap it up. <laughs> did you get hit, Eric? All right. uh, I did not, actually. Out of boy. As long yeah. as you didn't get hit, you're good. And you got a story. You got a story out of it, and you're yeah. paid wealthy for it. Then. Exactly. John? What? Any bar fights? Uh, I try to stay uh, out of as many bar fights as possible. You just um, stay in the family fights, right? Yeah, the the, that's where it all happens. Yeah, exactly. don't, don't argue about Springsteen in Youngstown, man. Yeah. You'll get there here. Yeah. All right, the business. Back to the business. Yep. Back to the business. Uh, Tom Hofarth, this weekend you were in Vegas. Steve, you were all about LeBron. But regardless, everybody on Twitter, everybody looking around, was watching Tiger. Even mm-hmm. people who aren't golf fans knew that Tiger was in the hunt. Right. I know that he played at Valspar. He was in Florida. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he missed a putt at the end. Right. Isn't that crazy? When was the last time we talked about Tiger? He still moves the needle, Tom. And he's always going to as long as he's involved in majors. Majors, this is what he's prepping for, the, all the majors. So when the Masters comes up uh, first week of April, that's going to be a huge TV show again. And that's, I mean, CBS is just loving how this is all progressing. But uh, whatever Tiger does is always going to, affect something i had to cover the la open golf tournament a couple weeks ago tiger was in the tournament he wasn't winning he was doing okay but everyone wanted to know how he was doing was he going to make the cuts like i, I got to report on what's news this is news oh no this is news you got to figure well, out there's a generation going. that just grew up watching tiger yeah. i think one of the other players was wearing Almost red all yesterday the players, right? yeah yeah, yeah. The other all kid, the players yeah. love him they just oh well he makes him. them a lot of money right. i was sitting with my girlfriend who has complained in the past about me watching football and basketball and things like that and she was like, oh, no, let's sit down and watch this. This is great. She was into it. And when he hits the 40-footer on 17, yeah. I was just thinking how ecstatic ESPN and CBS were. This guarantees the Masters is going to be massive numbers this year, huge numbers. And now a segment inside of a segment. We, that's the business where you get to the nuts and bolts of what's going on. But this is time for Tom's tirade. <laughs> People who don't want to get involved in the – I should have a spit guard, I guess, right here. <laughs> I'm leaning back. Anyway, I've got a two-part tirade. First of all, if you brought up the the, uh, the tournament show yesterday on TBS, it seemed everybody hated it for whatever reason. They announced the teams that came out first. They did them in order. Here's the 32 teams that made it. Yeah, we already know. Here's the next teams that made it. Oh, by the way, did you read between the lines? Louisville wasn't there. USC wasn't there. Yeah, we, Oklahoma was, wasn't there. Oklahoma State. So they did it in an awkward way that people were just not happy with the studio audience. And uh, if you want to see some great Twitter response, including the Lawrence, Kansas uh, Police Department, (laughs) who said, please do not call 911 to protest what the tournament show is about. I guess people in Kansas were doing that. It was a very funny tweet they sent out. Anyway, second point. The (laughs) other day, I'm trying to watch a Dodger spring training game in the background. And I got on a Twitter rant about this because... One Charlie Steiner was just ruining the nice, peaceful day for me by explaining why he didn't want to be there. He was tired. The game was too long. It's the fourth inning, and we've already done two hours. Now, first of all, I know people jumped on this, and they wanted s- they started slamming him for his regular season work, for the fact that he's not funny, blah, blah, blah. Now, I understand a broadcaster has a hard time making a spring training game relevant. But if you don't want to be there, don't spoil it for the rest of us. Get a young guy on there who wants to make a demo tape. Go with a broadcaster list 
uh, telecast. Yeah. Why not? Let's just listen to the what's going on. The reason why I think this this honed in again on Sunday, I tuned it in again, heard Rick Money and Kevin Kennedy. Great broadcast. They treated it for what it was. They did a nice job. They explained who was going on. They were not complaining about the fact they had to be there. We're going to miss a flight. We're going to miss our meal. Yeah. It's just just dial it back. If you don't want to be there, don't go there. Okay, so all I, I want to say is I like Charlie Steiner. I like him as a person. He's world-weary, and, and that speaks to me. Two, Kennedy and Monday are amazing. Two former players. Yeah. I heard them last year called two innings in which they called every pitch, and every time a ball was hit, predict where it was going to go. So blasé about it, it makes me think that Monday has to pretend yeah, that he's he surprised does. during the games. Yeah, yeah. What's happening, he already knows. Third thing, you may have heard in the previous segment I referred to my girlfriend – I'm in my 50s. Can we come up with a different word for like when uh, people like me date? I mean, it's embarrassing it's that I had to say pal, that. It's not a gal pal, is it? No gal pal, and it's I swear to God, if you say lover, I'm going to throw up, okay? So <laughs> come on. Cause lover out there, is reserved NASA, for NASA, uh, the Tesla guy. Come on. Let's just have uh, one word so word I can say something and not yeah. humiliate myself. Anyway, uh, so Tom's tirade, <laughs> hijacked by Steve Lowry, <laughs> is brought to you by blah, blah, blah. The once, business. Once yeah. again, the Tom's tirade it does not reflect the views and opinions of anybody else in the room. It's only Tom Holfarth. And, well, maybe some other people. What, what? No, I'm distancing myself from you, bro. I, I understand. <laughs> Every single week, because now that you have your own segment of tirade, I you're going to go deep, and you're going to start cutting people. Back in the day when I go into press boxes, I would have to look to see who was in the press box to see who was going to blindside me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, the, it's just the nature of the So business. you want to be a critic. Yeah. So you want to be a critic. You got to face the people who call you at yeah. uh, 4 in the morning going, hey, that piece you just wrote about me, not good. N Somebody did this to me recently. I won't name any names. Let's just move on. Speaking oh. of, by the oh. way, the, my my special lady friend. Let's <laughs> oh go with geez. that for now. We're watching we're watching Moneyball yesterday at one in the morning. At one in the morning, I was watching <laughs> it too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So on the, TNT, was I also watching? was watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that damn time change, oh, man, messed so me cool. up. Uh. So we're watching it, and there's one of these scenes where Billy Bean is there, and the media who cover the team are all going, "You're a jerk, and you're stupid," and this on oh, a press conference, right? Yeah, That's and I'm saying, and I'm saying, to my, I'm saying to never my happened girlfriend, in Girlfriend, I'm like, no one would ever do that because you have to come back the next day, yeah. and they always play us like that like we're these evil people yeah. well, baseball writers just stand there they have to and then they look at you they wait for the tv people you have to, to take question. it and then, and then they like starky about the tv people oh, yeah. God, oh, TV people that. and you just have to take it because if you piss them off all of a sudden you don't yeah. get to talk to clayton kershaw or whatever yeah. you have to uh-huh yeah. all right yeah. i once had a friend of mine mark fain who wrote the barry bonds book once we were covering the angels and about midway through the season tears in his eyes he said i just wish they would acknowledge i'm a human being that's what you have to go through when you cover baseball teams yeah you're treated or like bonds or bonds <laughs> yeah yeah right <laughs> oh that was it that now here we go yeah. my favorite part of the segment because you guys are getting all reminiscent history time with steve and tom fancy audio right there blah 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 brought to you by Blank, blank, blank. I like the History Channel. We should use History some of that Channel. Ken Burns music. That'd Brought be good by right Bruce there. Springsteen's Glory Days. Oh, you, you know what? Yeah. Oh, for oh, History Time, if you guys have any suggestions on what we should use music-wise, a little bump, we'll, we, we will use old people music for you guys, <laughs> all right? We'll, we'll use some Springsteen. Yeah. All right. Something I not in copyrighted. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Oh, yeah. Instrumentals. Okay. Okay. Uh, recently, I went to Santa Anita Racetrack. I told you guys my dad took me there as a kid. That's where wow. I learned how to do math. No, it wasn't like all no, yeah. moments because yeah. there were seven kids at the house. My dad wanted to get out of there, too, so he had to take somebody with him. who right. usually me and my two sisters would go. Right. We'd play in the infield. And you guys were like, oh, all these great memories. You guys also went there. And it's, I'm starting to see there's a resurgence of people starting to go to the track. They're trying to attract younger people yeah. there because, obviously, the, the, the age group that's going are yeah. people older than you, you know, the yeah. octogenarians. Right. But the racetrack always holds a special place whenever you talk to somebody, yeah. Steve. Yep. Well, my memories of Santa Anita, number one, is that it's gorgeous. Because my mom used to like to play the ponies. We'd go to Hollywood Park. Eh, yeah. La, yeah. You know, Friday nights. La, Los Alamitos. Eh. And then you go to Santa Anita. It was, it was like going to a garden. It was like it got mixed yeah. up with Huntington Library. And the, my favorite thing was after, uh, after the ponies ran, and if you won some money, we would drive down Rosemead Boulevard and go to the Dal Rey uh, and have what's pepper that? steak. It's this great a uh, restaurant Pico Rivera and they make pepper steak it's oh my it's oh Del so Rey and Pico Rivera yeah it's Pico Rivera yeah, yeah. oh it's so good yeah, yeah. that's old that was school. a good day that's that was old a good school. day that means you only went once or twice <laughs> it <laughs> is like walk isn't it really like yeah, walking into like good fellas yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah it's awesome the yeah color the color the architecture if you ever go go during same. Christmas they put up like these Wait, you're talking about Del Rey or Santa Anita no Del Rey 
Oh, oh yeah. No, oh, now we're going around. Oh. <laughs> History <laughs> set lessons is one focus History here. Slash no, food. No wonder you work sports and all these other different things. You can't focus no, on one thing, I can you? No, I he's can. well rounded. Did I say magic look great? Because well he looked great. Rounded. He's, he's yeah. well rounded. That's one yes, way to put it. Nice, nice. We're talk. not sports guys. We're well rounded men. Yes. Who yeah. enjoy sports. But um, I'm going to do some sit ups and uh, yeah. rectify that. Tom, okay. the racetrack. Racetrack was where at Santa Anita. First of all, I loved going to Hollywood Park on Friday nights. The dollar hot dogs, the dollar yeah, beers. Yeah, I went there because it used to be under thirty. Everything was a yeah. dollar if you're under thirty. It was K Rock night at the corner. And then the the post concert English beat. English beat. Dave yeah, Wakeland. Yeah. I saw Eka Mouse there. Yeah. It was great. I was twenty. I love Hollywood gamble. Park. It was Inglewood near my house. I could yeah. just pop over there. Santa Anita was like a special trip. And you go to Santa Anita mm-hmm. because of the the aura of the place. Yeah. You knew this, uh, all the history of the horses that were there, you yeah. know, the great races. And it was the one moment that I still write as my favorite sports moment is being in an event, seeing Zenyatta win the nineteen uh, the 2009 Breeders' Cup Classic. Complete. I was there for that. Complete out of the blue. Uh Zenyatta, a female horse. What do, what do we call them? Phillies? Phillies. Phillies. All Phillies. Right. All right, well. Hot Philly. She was a hot Philly. Hey, that's the name of your new girlfriend. Philly. <laughs> She's a hot Philly. Please. I'm already in enough trouble. Beats, the, beats the field of male horses. What do we call them? Horses. Horses. horses? Okay. <laughs> Colts. Colts. <laughs> All right. Fast. And, and everyone's just blown away, even though they probably could have seen this coming. Usually they have, a f- they have a race for just the Philly horses, but she was put in with the males. She wins the race, and people are just like, hey, they can't get their heads around it. Right. And I see this mom dressed up in the full – Kentucky Derby outfit right. with the hat, talking to the little girl, and she said, and the little girl's going, why was this a big deal? And she goes, a girl just beat the boys in a race. Wow. I mean, yeah, there's like, yeah. that's the basic thing that just happened. It's like, it was amazing to watch. Wow. Santa Anita is always cool. Yeah. Have you ever been, John? I have not. Oh, oh next oh. show with Santa Anita. Eric? Go. Yes, I've had a few beers there. there yeah. yeah. There when was the last time you went, Eric? We got to make a trip. Ooh, probably six years ago maybe oh yeah. we're going see i told you they're trying to bring the Although young people there del mar is always well, well del mar is different yeah. though del mar is yeah. fancy yeah. but yeah. san anito now you can either go infield where yeah. it's free yeah. and you can bring your own cooler you can do yeah. whatever you want it's, it's great free infield for all out there yeah. and if you want to go super fancy if you want to try and impress a girl or girlfriend yeah. whatever you mm-hmm. want to call her Hi, you, can, you can go in the box and yeah. you, you start club. seeing the young people yeah. are getting dressed up, suited yeah. and booted. Yeah. Yeah. I've been up there once. I'm like, I don't belong here, bro. Like, I don't need to be. I don't <laughs> need to be somewhere where I need when a caller. The Breeders' Cup, it is fancy. Well, yeah, fancy. yeah, that yeah. is awesome. Yeah, Breeders' yeah. Cup is where Arash shows up with like eight girls yeah. and yeah. 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 Markazi no style. style. We ain't doing that. You want? Can I do a business thing on Arash? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll do it. Later. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Arash at the Pac-12 tournament. Let's just move on. Markazi style. That's the man. I <laughs> yes. wear black shirts just for him. <laughs> right. Oh, this, this was good. This was good. Uh, let's go recap. John, you like the show today? I enjoyed it. Fun right. show. Eric? I enjoyed it. Do you guys have any dark horses for the uh, NCAA tournament? Mm. Well, is Kentucky a dark horse? They're like it a four seed. Oh, okay. Say, yeah. Will they count this Calipari run if it happens? Mm. Eventually they won't, but yeah. No. Oh, that's right, yeah. I like Arizona go deep. I do too I because like of their yeah. seating. Because of the seating that they got screwed again because of the FBI, they they couldn't not put them in the tournament, but they could sure mess with them. Sending I them to the South yeah. region. Yeah. yeah, I can see Arizona making a good uh, run. You said it, it looks like uh, Aiton is Aiton it looks, it looks awesome. like Aiton looks Elijah like Hakeem Elijah one. He's stud. Aiton, Aiton, yeah. Oh my Except god. One, there's no way that guy's 19. I had no idea he was a freshman. Yeah, I was insane. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. A freshman in what country was he a freshman? <laughs> John, what are you doing this week? Uh, we are working the NIT tournament. All right. And uh, we're doing the Oregon site, the Washington site, and anu- our second truck is doing the Utah site, all for ESPN3. Uh, CIF that. basketball at the Long Beach Pyramid this weekend. Yes. Uh, San Diego baseball on Friday, University of San Diego. Oh, that's beautiful down there. Chris oh, Bryant, let's go. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful Good stadium. burrito spot around the corner. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know what interests me about the NIT is they got different rules now. They're going to widen the key. They're going to expand the three-point line. They're widening line. the key. They're expanding the three-point line. International it, rules. So, They're how does a team that just rules. gets put in the NIT now adjust their court? Do they have a guy with blue tape just, like, putting it on Pretty the much. court? Yeah. Oh Pretty yeah. much, yeah. It's insane how they got to get ready for this whole new court. Yeah, and apparently the whole thing's underwater. <laughs> so, it's crazy. And they're only using three, <laughs> yeah. three guys. Three guys, <laughs> yeah. Right. Eric, where are you going? I'm going with John. Oh, you guys uh, going together? Oh, We're yeah. To the oh. Stay oh. together at Travel We're Lodge. You got to guess? Absolutely. Eric's right. going wherever he smells fear. Yeah. Wait, what city are you going to? Uh, Eugene, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, and then back home. Oh, that's not bad. What are you complaining about? 
you know, I just. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so Irvine, man. Travel. It's not Irvine. Once you get out of it's Irvine, it's travel. It's travel, yeah. Oh, once you get Have out. Have you of been Irvine. to Eugene, Oregon? You're only going for one day, bro. You're yeah, like, exactly. You don't get a lot to do. What's that th- line? What's like that line? You're a writer. I was there one day for a week or something like that. Yeah, I once spent a week I one day. I once spent a uh, in San Francisco. I once spent the coldest winter during a summer in San Francisco. <laughs> ah, there you go. You, Steve, Mark what Wayne. do you do? Fight uh, with your girlfriend. I'm going to be uh, apologizing to my girlfriend, Linda. Hi, honey. Thanks for understanding. It's all good fun. She got a name sweet at the cheeks. end, huh? I'll look we call her Sweet Cheeks. Okay, oh. they, we don't so call you that opinion, at all. all right. At all, we don't call you that. All right. uh, and I guess I'll be watching some hoops, right? And paying attention to Linda because she's great. Thanks, honey. She's not even watching. Nah, you're right. No, she doesn't. Well, my wife doesn't watch. She doesn't read anything I my write. My kids don't read I'll anything I write. I'll tell you right now, you don't read anything I write, or my kids don't read it. My kids don't read me. Why, why, would I, why do I bother? Yeah. Well, some, they're not write-offs. So who cares? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what, are, what do you have to work on this week? I got nothing going on this week. I'm gonna Freelance. Lay low. I'm going fr- I'm gonna to lay low and just watch some games, watch some golf. Uh, I'll go to the bar and make some bets with me. I think I, I, I like that idea. Thursday. All right. I got uh, nothing to do. See, and by the way, I don't <laughs> fill out a tournament bracket because I always win, and it's just unfair to the rest of the people. So oh. You don't beat Kathy picking by colors. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I What do I got this week? I got a... Uh, yeah, what do you got this week? Friday, boxing, Golden Boy Boxing, will be on ringtv.com. Yes. That's uh, downtown LA. Saturday, Thompson Boxing in Orange County. Dang. And uh, just kid stuff. That's it. Yeah. Good. Being, uh, being a mover. That's it. Yeah. So, for John, Eric, Steve, Tom... And everybody involved, Bethel Duran, thank you for watching another edition of The Drill. If you guys have any suggestions, please send them to Tom's uh, Twitter, which is Tom Holforth, right? Steve, you got one now? At Steve Larry 12. Why 12? Uh, it's better than 11. It's the first one available. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so go follow Steve Lowry 12. I don't know how to, uh, he ain't going to tweet. And if you like the palm tree, <laughs> if you want to add a second palm tree. And if you guys want to send us any kind of clothes or yep. anything like that, we'll decorate the background. Yep. We're going to get there. We can't hang yep. anything else. But uh, LAFC jerseys are on their way, by the way. Anything yeah. free. Yeah. So thanks yeah. for watching The Drill. Linda, you're the best. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs>